Okay, in this question we have a population of cars and there are two characteristics associated with each car. They are having or not having air conditioning and having or not having racing stripes. As such, we might be able to solve this question using the double matrix method. So let's reserve the top row for cars with air conditioning and reserve the bottom row for cars without air conditioning. Next, we'll reserve the left-hand column for cars with racing stripes and reserve the right-hand column for cars without racing stripes. Now first, we're told that there are 100 cars altogether, so let's add that information right here. Next, we're told that 47 cars do not have air conditioning. Since these two boxes are reserved for cars that do not have air conditioning, we know that the sum of these two boxes must be 47. Now, if 47 of the 100 cars do not have air conditioning, we can conclude that the remaining 53 cars do have air conditioning. So the sum of these two boxes must be 53. Next, we're told that at least 51 cars have racing stripes. Since these two boxes are reserved for cars with racing stripes, we know that the sum of these two boxes must be at least 51. Let's use this notation to represent at least 51 cars. In other words, the sum of the two highlighted boxes here can be 51, 52, 53, and so on. Now, if we have at least 51 cars with racing stripes, then there must be at most 49 cars without racing stripes. So the sum of these two boxes must be at most 49, which we can write as follows. Finally, the question asks us to find the greatest number of cars that could have air conditioning but not racing stripes. Since this box is reserved for cars that have air conditioning but not racing stripes, our goal is to maximize the number of cars in this box. So let's add a star to this box to remind us of our goal. Okay, so how do we maximize the number of cars in the box with the star? Well, since these two boxes must add to 53, it might be possible to take our target box here and place all 53 cars in it. Now, unfortunately, since these two boxes must add to at most 49, it is impossible for the target box to have 53 cars. In fact, it would seem that if the two highlighted boxes here must add to at most 49, then the greatest number of cars that could be placed in the target box is 49. Now let's see if it's possible to have 49 cars in the target box without contradicting any of the given information. First, if the sum of the two highlighted boxes here must add to at most 49, then this box must contain zero cars. This way, the total number of cars without racing stripes does not exceed 49. Next, since these two boxes must add to 53, this box will contain four cars. Finally, since these two boxes must add to 47, we know that this box will contain 47 cars. Since it is possible for the target box to contain 49 cars without contradicting any of the given information, we have now maximized the number of cars in this box. So our answer here is C.